Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this extravaganza weekend show hosted with Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. I am joined by the second commentator, Dylan. Welcome, Dylan, to Saturday Night's Main Event here in Orlando, Florida. Only if you wanna. <laughs> okay, well, hello, everybody. Fix uh, your mic. <laughs> fix my mic. Oh wait, I'm I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> you know, anyway, um, I'd rather be anywhere else than here, but I'm stuck with you. Well, uh, you know, there, there wouldn't be any other way we would start off this universe by having a Saturday Night's main event pre-show. Yeah, the pre-show of everything, starting off with SmackDown's card, if I can even call it that. Who, who is this? Wait a minute. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way. Oh, wait a minute. Accompanied by Rob Van Dam from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds. Riddle. Looks like Riddle has a new change of pace and clothing with his manager by his side, the legendary Rob Van Dam. I, uh, I, uh, am curious about the, uh, change, but, um, I, I guess this is okay. I, I think he, what, what, why'd he go away with the scooter? What, where's the scooter at, bro? Well, if you can see, he has no shoes on. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> He's always never had shoes on. <laughs> well, he had Wait, permission he had boots to. On. Right, he had permission to actually have Rob Van Dam's clothes on. He... Is what I've been told. Wait a minute, who, who, what the hell? What the? Fuck? <laughs> and his opponent, accompanied by Bianca Belair from Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. Weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford! A new change of pace in Montez Ford, I like this change. <laughs> Accompanied by his what wife, Bianca Belair, he, he told me he has so much money he doesn't care about the fans anymore. And I can tell you and reassure you that this is a change that will shock the landscape <laughs> of world wrestling why does, why, does, why, does, why does he pretty much have Velveteen Dreams entry? Whoa, 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 we don't name names here. Listen here, goof. He, he's here to make a change in the landscape of professional wrestling with his wife, Bianca Belair. And of course, this is a match to determine the World Heavyweight Champion slash... Well, not not necessarily. This is a beat-the-clock challenge match. And the uh, the rules will state the, the two superstars by the end of this tournament who have the least amount of times will go at, will go at it at Backlash. And the uh, first... <laughs> the winner... <laughs> I'm, I'm so flabbergasted about what we're seeing here. I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm, okay, um, this is a different side of Montez Ford that I think I wish I would never see. Anyway. Well, <laughs> he, he's showing his true colors here. And what you're seeing here is the next world heavyweight champion, Dylan, in Montez Ford. As you can see, the person with the pants in the family is Bianca Belair, as I can see. But I'm not... I mean, that's, it's 2022. That, that's what I'm seeing at this point. <laughs> The second place will get the European Championship. The first place, the winner at Backlash, will be the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, here we go. So, I, I know I probably shouldn't tell you what my plans are, but I, I'm, I'm at least going to explain how I'm doing the title tournaments. So, um... Well, do, you, do you at least like the change of Riddle here? I, I do like the change of Riddle. I, I, Riddle I will actually Riddle looks pretty me. dope. <laughs> yes, he does. Um, so basically, 
all the finals will be my four matches at Backlash. So all four titles will be, all four matches of mine will be title matches. I'm sorry for that pause. I had to, I had to make some adjustments here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm sorry, Dylan. I, I was focusing on this match and not yourself. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you heard okay. me right. Okay. Look at, look at this change of pace by Montez Ford. After he went to SmackDown, he, he's changed his look. And you never know what's going to happen here in the World Wrestling Entertainment. But, but I think he needs a, a, a different change. I think you need to see what's going on here. At the rough counts 8, both of these men need to get back in the ring. What the heck? Will we see a double count out? We might! Oh, what? Both Wait, got in at the same time! In. Yeah, both men oh. are back in! I am surprised at this! It's Whoa, because look, that damn... Look, look at the mannerisms by Montez Ford here! What? Okay, for a second I thought... Okay, I'm, <laughs> this is a funny point out. But I thought his glove was like... A jar or something. It was like so shiny that I couldn't really tell at first. You're right, it, it's a jar, it's very jarring here, as we are one minute and almost two minutes in, in this Beat the Clock challenge, first match in this series. So I, I guess we have to make our predictions, because, you know, we, we, we haven't yet. Oh, well. So let's start, let's start with you. This is your right. match, after all. Well, if, if you gotta go here, you know, someone like, oh, wait a minute, knee to the face by Riddle, knee, I mean, uh, if you really want to talk about change, I think Montez Ford is going to change the landscape of this industry. So, so your pick is Montez Ford? Yeah, yeah. Riddle has like no brain cells after he's been uh, smoking in the back with Rob Van Dam. He doesn't even know where he's at right now. Wait, wait. Can you even prove that? <laughs> I mean... Look at the attires these two men are wearing. You can see Riddle's eyes are very red here. I mean, wait a minute now. RVD's wearing a suit, and Riddle's wearing his attire, so what? He's taking inspiration for him. What do you mean? <laughs> exactly, so what's, what's your point of him smoking? I, I, I don't... Because I don't he's smoking <laughs> This match. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Listen, pay attention to the match. You're out of <laughs> you're completely out of line here. No, I think I'm perfectly in line. But anyway, so yeah, you're right. My you're, you're in line to be demoted as a commentator. I want I want out. <laughs> <laughs> you want out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen He's here, smiley. Yourself. At least you're not as smiley as Riddle and RVD here. They look a little too smiley. B both men back in the ring. We gotta focus on this match. Anyway, uh, well, I gotta go through my pick. Um, yeah, well, what are your predictions? It's not like it matters, so, but... Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> so... Um, well, you're right. Change has gone between both of these men. And... Uh, well, I think Change will do one better than the other, so I'm I'm right there with you. I think Montez Ford can somehow pull this off. I'm I'm seeing a very young Shawn Michaels in this Montez Ford. You know what? I I can give that to you. By by the look of the pants, I can see that. See, you never know. What the hell is Montez Ford? Oh wait a minute! I think he was going for a pile driver, but R I almost said RVD. He looks so much like him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is true. I mean, as a as a part of the SmackDown team, I I mean I have a little bias towards this match, but wait a minute, frog sp standing frog splash to Montez Ford. That could be the uh, the thing he needs for this beat uh. the clock challenge match. Wait a minute, floating pro cover. I think we ought to discuss about the pay-per-views, our first set of pay-per-views for these things. Riddle! 
Wow, Riddle, Riddle, Riddle taking the, the world by storm here. <laughs> I forgot to pause. <laughs> so, about 517, Riddle <laughs> is setting the record. Well, the setting the, the time challenge. to beat. Not Montez a record, Ford, but it's the time to beat. It, you're damn sure right. I think, um... I think Riddle is a force here to reckon, but we're going to be back here with more Saturday Night's main events. What a, what a great first match that was. I definitely will say that <laughs> sometimes you never know what you're going to get with this game, and I'm happy we get something crazy. But coming up next is NXT Sami Zayn versus a kid? Am I, he am I hearing this right? What What is this? Yes, unfortunately, uh, the NXT general manager hired a kid. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> After this matchup, we're going to be talking about the great Backlash and NXT TakeOver in your house the following coming up in the next few weeks. Is scheduled for one yes. Ball, making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! Well, Sami Zayn, I think this kid has a long way to go, but I think he's going to do just fine here as he's been in the wrestling game for, oh god, for how long? Like, almost 20 years? Yeah, just about 20 years. And, I mean, this kid, how are we allowing a kid to wrestle? I, I don't know. Maybe NXT has the standards. I don't know. I gotta talk to to NXT management because this is this is very shocking to say the least. I I don't know what to say. I um and I I'm a I'm a generous man, but are you sure you're a generous man? I am as generous as the and stars align and. Apparently, the stars align to the fact pounds. that Montez Ford did not get a win here <laughs> tonight. <laughs> I'm very pissed off. But here we go. A kid shows up here tonight to make an impact on the NXT roster. Will, I don't, he, I don't... The, will, he, will he be the one to, to be the second upset of the, of the night? You know, and I've heard this kid is at least five years old. I'll say that. <laughs> really, I heard he was at least six or seven. At least six or he seven? Was... Yeah, yeah. He, he's well, younger what, whatever than the that next kid that, that, that wrestled in with Braun Strowman. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yes, uh, Nicholas, former tag team champion. Yes. Yeah, he's younger than him. Well, if I got my way, I wouldn't even book this match. I, I got a bone to pick with NXT management. I, I just have only SmackDown matches on this show. Wait, what? So you would just include Raw as well? Nope, no, no Raw. But I have to share a ring with you for this, and I have to share an arena with Backlash and all future pay-per-views, I think this is a travesty winning that. Well, you know, I think we ought to discuss some matches, or at least a match that's official on the Backlash card. How about the team of Nakamura and Boogs, which, by the way, is our next featured matchup here in Saturday Night's Main Event, as they take on the team of Pat McAfee and a mystery opponent. Ah, uh, yes, and I, I believe Pat McAfee partner. and the mystery opponent. Now, I've heard rumors. I've heard rumors. It is somebody important. But I can't I can't make the distinction because all my superstars on SmackDown are important. Well, my superstars on Raw are important. We haven't even seen the town on Raw yet. How do you even know if they're even important? <laughs> because I drafted them. You 
drafted yeah. a bunch of pigs. Let me tell you. What? Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw them. They were looking at me in the locker room trying to change. What the hell? Egg is a... <laughs> Let oh, me wait. tell you what Egg did. I saw it. <laughs> I cannot uh, but... believe what we have witnessed here. We have just seen teleportation from a kid. What a wonderful superstar. <laughs> and I hope he wins. I've changed my mind. Oh, so, so your pick is a kid. Yes, it, it was originally well, Sami Zayn. I am a conspiracy theorist just like him. Yes, I can tell. Well, my pick is Sami Zayn. And why is this? Because... He has a masterful mind. He, he's he's a great level, as they say. He, he's a what? A great level. I can't believe the words. <laughs> you know what? I I am a liability here, and I am being attacked for the the. I can't even explain the words right now. But give me a few moments. <laughs> Sammy Zayn is a no good lying son of a gun. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what? He's in control. I, I changed my mind. Sammy Zayn for the win. <laughs> Wait, how many times are you gonna change your pick? How many times does the moon change in a night? Once. Well, that doesn't mean anything, but I'm going to pick who I want. <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> I'm laughing at the stupidity of this conversation as I want SmackDown to be victorious in the weeks. But we can't find that out till either Monday or Tuesday when Brendan joins us. And I thank God he's going to be here because I can't take much more of this commentary with a buffoon like you. Oh, okay. Well, you know, he, he's, he's going to be no better. <laughs> well, at least he's going to have a civil conversation. He's going to tell me all about this NXT superstars and how we got oh, a kid to wrestle. <laughs> well, well, wait. What does it have to do with anything? I want to know more because I have no idea anything about these men except for Sami Zayn used to be under a mask and he used to be very generic. So, so you're telling me you know a lot about the Raw roster? Not, not at all. Well, kind of. I know The Rock's there, and he's a huge movie star. Yes. What about the Young Bucks, who we will see against Nakamura and Boogs here next? You know what? I kind of like them. <laughs> oh, yeah? You, you fan? I'm a big fan of the very cocky demeanor of these two. Well, on Raw, they will be... I believe it's them. Let me double check the card. But it's I... gonna be them and uh, Jurassic Express You're in right. the first round of the Tag Team Title Tournament. That's gonna be a fantastic <laughs> match, but I gotta, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm very interested with this Ring Around the Rosies part of the matchup between Sami Zayn and Take <laughs> I'm seeing <laughs> What is going on here? He's telling- he's whispering in his ear. We're gonna go all around the arena. Oh, oh my god, it worked! He slapped him out because Sami Zayn just did one hell of a kick to a kid. One, two, and I knew Sami Zayn was gonna win all along. I'm sorry, but that was great. <laughs> here is your winner, Sami <laughs> His back kinda hurts. <laughs> I love yeah, that, so I'm this sure. is going to be great. <laughs> Dylan, did you not believe me that I knew Sami Zayn was going to win this entire time? Well, of course I believed you. I picked Sami Zayn to win as well. Well, by what you thought, I psyched you out and made you think a kid was going to win. But I, indeed, Sami Zayn made... I was in cahoots with Sami Zayn this entire time. He knew what we were going to think. But before we get into this main event of Saturday Night's main event, <laughs> we're going to talk about WrestleMania Backlash and... Uh, NXT yes. in your house. 
and NXT in your house. <laughs> of course, the biggest NXT pay-per-view we're going to have as it features a lot of the NXT talent. I have no idea what's going on on that show, but I know it's going to be a fantastic one. Dylan, what's going on at WrestleMania Backlash as far as you know? <laughs> so, as far as we know, for WrestleMania Backlash... Raw side of things will be all the championship tournament finals. So all the champions will be crowned at that very pay-per-view. And Nakamura and Boobs will take on... Uh, Did you say Nakamura and Boobs? Boobs. Oh, boo. Oh, yes. Like a Yogi Bear. <laughs> like the Boog. <laughs> and the team of Pat McAfee and a mystery partner of his choosing. Which I heard rumors is going to be very uh, important. <laughs> so what, what, let me ask you what's going on with the SmackDown side of things. The, the SmackDown side? Well, as you know, the, uh, the Beat the Clock Challenge finals, Riddle is in the lead with 517. The winner gets the World Heavyweight Championship. The second place gets the European Championship. The divisions are going to be all crazy after that. Uh, we have the finals for the tag team titles and uh, the final semifinal match for the women's uh, world championship, which will not be uh, on the line at that point, but it'll be on the line at the next pay-per-view, our big pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. It's going to be crazy. Ah. So, that's what we got looking... What? What's going on here? Hey, uh, wait. You got my, you got my 30,000 boxes of condoms ready? <laughs> what? Sweet, I can't wait to get home. Dylan, we gotta finish this match. Okay. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the main event of Saturday Night's main event. <laughs> Look at their demeanor. Look at them. They're they're being like the great Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. The ah yes, the young boss. On the way to the ring. So, so you and said you like these guys. You know, I'm a fan pounds. of all the flippy and uh, all, all the hip uh, <laughs> wrestling. I know they came from that all elite wrestling. I don't know what that means, but um, <laughs> we're here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hip with the crowd. I like the flips and the kicks. Ah, uh, yes. So... So I'm guessing you're picking the Young Bucks to win the match? I believe the Young Bucks are going to do great things as they're already channeling one of the greatest tag teams of all time in Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. I think, and rest in peace Scott Hall, might I add, but I must, uh, they're, they're tag team champions from all around the world. And let's, let's keep in mind that they could also become the Raw Tag Team Champion, or the World WWE Tag Team Champion, sorry. If they happen to get past the Jurassic pounds. Express and their other Shinsuke opponents. Nakamura, and Look at these two goofs. <laughs> what are they doing? They're waving to Nakamura's theme song. They're trying to get the crowd pumped up. <laughs> ah. Ah, uh, yes, there's Nick Boobs doing a little let's go, you know. <laughs> you know, if it weren't for this, I'd definitely go with Rick Boogs and Nakamura, but looks like these two have less than brain cells on this one as well. Oh, wow. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I think the Young Bucks are getting a little too close to Rick Boogs there. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. Oh, it's a party here at Saturday Night's Main Event, and I wish Brendan were here for this extravaganza, but here we go with a classic tag team count... Ba not count... Ba I can't even speak. Dylan, what are you doing to me? What did you put in my water? Uh, I didn't put anything in your water. Uh-huh. It was, it was that slimy Shinsuke Nakamura. 
I just saw him do it. Slimy Nakamura. Now that's a catchphrase I'm gonna go with forever. The slimy <laughs> Nakamura. You, you put the words right out of my mouth as the Young Bucks are gonna dominate the Raw Tag Team Division. I've always been for Raw, guys. I've never said anything about, oh, I only go for SmackDown. What are you talking about? This is... Um, uh, I could refer back just a, just a match ago you said that. Oh, please. You and your... <laughs> you're on, you and your excuses. I would never anyway. say anything like that to these talented superstars of the Young Bucks, Nick and Matt Jackson. Ah, yes. I'd give them a kiss on the cheek if I would. Oh, my. <laughs> um, hey, wait. But they are my pick the one as well. The Young Bucks. Wait, why are you guys bringing the condoms here? I said at my house! <laughs> Please! Go take- I'll pay so... you five more cents if you go and bring them to my house. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What are, what are you doing with all those? You don't need to know. <laughs> Doesn't a man need 30,000 boxes of condoms? No! <laughs> I'm being prepared. I'm being extra prepared, okay? I don't want any diseases. Well, I, I would hope not, but at least one box would be okay to start with. Oh, please. One box, <laughs> schmunchmox. I can't believe that you would do <laughs> <laughs> or say something <laughs> like that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I came here for a family-friendly show, and you, I, now you're talking about boxes of condoms? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Only because your people brought them to the desk. Well, that's because... <laughs> what am I supposed to... You're not supposed to be here. Well, they, they came here. I, I don't... I don't know. Listen, we gotta get focused into this match because uh, I I think that's Matt Jackson <laughs> is uh, in the ring. I, I I don't know. One of the Bucks of Young are here in the match and uh, they're dominating and taking out the leg of this very silly Rick Boots. What did, what did they even come out to? I I don't even understand this term of current wrestling, you know? Back in the day, you did an arm bar and a leg lock, and then that was the finish. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must have been a very short match, man. let me tell you. You're right. Maybe as short as Riddle getting very short of, well, no, that was Montez Ford. He got the short end of the stick in that one, but he, he won in a very short fashion. Uh, yes, he did. And just like Sami Zayn took down a kid, I don't, I don't even know if there's laws against that. Did we even get approved well, I, here well, in o Orlando, Florida? <laughs> I don't know, we'll have to check into that. Yeah, <laughs> Brendan, we're going to have to talk to you about this because um, next time you're here, we uh, there, there's some tomfoolery going on. I do not appreciate the... Uh, now, I really like Sami Zayn. I'm a conspiracy theorist just as him. But in this case, wait a minute, cover one. In this case, I cannot believe we have witnessed something as dreadful as this. I know there was a tag team match at WrestleMania at one point with a legit kid. But in this case, it's a, it's a whole different ball game. Nicholas was at least 10. We don't even know the legit age of this A kid. Uh, wait. I just been told he is officially five years old. Five years? Oh, I was right. At least five years old. <laughs> hey, maybe he's older than you. No, no, no. I'm perfectly fine in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, twenty minus sixteen. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, what a. What a back suplex on the ring apron. Rick Boogs taking this to a whole nother level. 
both men are, both of the young bucks are not doing very well. I might have to switch my, you know what, I'm going with Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs now. No, you, <laughs> you gotta stick with the young bucks, you only get one pick. Whoa, 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 I'm, I'm a, I'm a very organized commentator and what I see is what I get, okay? Well, yeah, but that doesn't have to be wrong with that prediction. <laughs> there is no predictions, there's only spoilers, and what I'm spoiling is Rick Boogs and Nakamura are going at it. <laughs> Holy moly! On a ravioli! <laughs> My god. What, what, what is going on here? <laughs> what are you talking oh, about? Good. Listen, I'm in a silly mood here. Rick Book is a silly man. Look at that mustache. I bet he gives great mustache rides. <laughs> mustache rides? What? Well, look at you talking about a non-PG topic on a PG show. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not my problem, man. Your people brought him over here, so I had to ask. <laughs> well, listen here, it, it's a serious topic, there could be holes in them, and not, and, uh, and you, you uh, never know the kind of ramifications you can get. <laughs> Speaking of, did you, wait a minute, hold on. I, I need to know these answers. Okay. Please. One second. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, no, hey. Yeah, listen, okay? Listen. Uh, if there's holes in my condoms, you guys are gonna pay. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, <laughs> I'm gonna sue the condom company of all your people. Yeah? Yeah, your five cent raise is gone if that happens. Alright, buddy, alright. Well, back in this match, I... I'm furious at that. <laughs> what just happened? I'll tell you what just happened. One of the young bucks just did a moonsault to nothing. This is a travesty. Not... I, I can't believe this match. That wasn't what I was referring to. <laughs> what, what else could you be referring to, huh? Your phone call! <laughs> what phone call? The phone call you were just on! Listen, buddy. If you think that there was a phone call, you're sadly mistaken. I was commentating on this uh, match. I think the young... Uh, I, I think Rick Boogs and Nakamura were mistakes with holes in their condom... with their parents had holes in their condoms. <laughs> oh, my. I, I, got I, I need words. a new commentator. This is ridiculous. Wait, what's wrong with me? You're blaming me for all these mistakes? I think that no, I think not Nakamura and you. Boogs are mistakes. I'm not I'm not blaming you. Oh please. I'm just saying about them. I'm not blaming you. Uh-huh. That's what they what all, all say. Mean? And then they turn your back on you and then backstab you like Nakamura would to the referee. To the referee. I, I've seen those uh, tapes. Okay. Listen here. You say so. <laughs> you think I'm delusional? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I want a new commentator. I can't. I can't wait till Brendan gets here to get some sort of. What if? What if he says the same things about you? Oh please! He's gonna be on my side. Well, what? You don't know that. I know he's a very partial referee. I'm burning hammer! What? He's no referee! What are you talking about? Shark <laughs> 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 Shark Nakamura. And the referee's ass is right in the way. He's a very thick boy here. I can't. <laughs> I was saying Angelo Dawkins in that referee suit. What? <laughs> Wait, he, he, he's getting revenge from Montez Ford completely changing his ways. Yeah. 
Angelo Dawkins literally has no way to go except for the back. And you know what? I, I can see him being a referee and screwing over someone of Montez Ford's stature. And wait a minute, super kick here. What the heck? Canadian Destroyer, and you know what, that's what Nakamura gets for peeking in the locker room. Cover. One. And Rick Boogs coming in. What the heck? Jeez. This is, this is madness. This tag team match is going all over the place. These two are facing Pete. Uh, it's facing what? Pat <laughs> yes, Pac-Man, the Pac-Man is gonna be at WrestleMania Backlash. Oh my! I'm paying a, that... a silver dollar for that one. Is that Pac-Man with his partner, the Pac-Man? <laughs> Wait a minute, Nakamura showing his vibrations on one of the bucks. This is just like he showed vibrations to the door when he peeked at me, this slimy Nakamura. <laughs> he literally kicked oh, the door man. open by st by doing his foot vibrations. Come on, Dylan, get in the match! This is... <laughs> well, I Nakamura with the cover. Got a two count. Um, listen, okay, that these two... Is. These two teams are putting on a classic, and you're focused on showers with Nakamura. What? That's you talking about that. Please. I wasn't even I, talking about that. I would never. I think you're sad. I think you're sadly mistaken here. Who do you think I am? Uh, I think you're. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say, but. <laughs> Don't think I'm laughing about the situation. I'm laughing at how ridiculous your comments are. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a confused. travesty. Yeah, you're right. Probably this is a travesty. To retire. The, the, the young bucks are not doing so well in this match. I can't believe this. I think Bobby Hina needs a new career. I. Bobby Heenan, he's, he's long gone. Where's the Bobby Heenan? I'm Dolphin. Or, or this, or this, or this Bobby Heenan impersonator. Ow. Listen here, I take great pride in being a Bobby Heenan enthusiast. Okay, just like I'm a Cheez-Its enthusiast and the Oreo Gangsters enthusiast. Wait a minute. One of the Bucks, what the hell? His... The foot vibrations are going to the arm of that whoa, buck! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> There's black magic coming here on Saturday Night's Man Event. Dylan, what are you doing my... to these two? What? What? I ain't doing, I ain't doing nothing. I know you gave one of the... <laughs> I think it was Boogs an energy drink to make his hand go that fast. Nah. That's how you slip it in. Listen, I, I, gave, I can. I, I gave I gave you one too many beers though before the show. I think that was the I think that's the issue going on here. I don't drink <laughs> on the job. I'm not like Riddle who smokes during the I match. said I I said before the show. Did you not see? Did you not see? RVD hands Riddle a doobie live on the air. Well, that's your problem. That's not mine. Oh please. I think it's gonna be a problem because it's affecting the show like it affected that one young buck's hand. Two, and a three, Nakamura and Boobs. I knew they were gonna win all along. No, you didn't. You chose the young bucks. Please. I would never side. I would never side with these two bows or those bozos. Yes, you would. You did. Listen here. You know what? These two are celebrating, and I'm celebrating. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Saturday Night's Main <laughs> Events. We're going to be here live either Monday or Tuesday with another friend of ours. I hope he has more brain cells than you, son. And anyway, i got to get here and get to my condoms before there's holes in them. <laughs> Any last words? Uh, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning into this show, which 
Uh, thanks for joining the show. That's all you have to say? Nakamura and Boogs have won this amazing... Look at the star rating. It says amazing on it. But anyway, it guys. Maybe, we, maybe next week we can get a better commentator here with me. Wow. <laughs>